Welcome to How To Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today after hundreds of requests we're making rolled ice cream. When you ask me for a video I always like to check out what's already been done. There are a ton of videos making them using an electric compressor that freezes the ice cream but they're pretty big, bulky and expensive so I'm not gonna buy one of those. There are also lots of YouTubers trying to make them at home and what they do is they chop up the ingredients on a tray and then put it in the freezer. Emmy showed us that unless your freezer is on the lowest setting it's not gonna work. This is not holding up. They did all get this method to work eventually when they turned the freezer down but there is still a big catch to using this method. You want to freeze it for a minimum of five hours. The three things I love about the rolled ice cream that you get in Thailand is one, you get to choose the flavor, two, it's ready in minutes, and three, because it's agitated while it freezes, you get smooth ice cream with no big ice crystals in it. Freezing it overnight loses all of those things. There has to be another way. I heard that if you put a piece of marble in the freezer that that might work, so let's try that. I did turn my freezer down to the coldest setting, but as you can see, it is making it cold and it's making it thick, but it's not freezing it solid enough, so that is a fail. There are freezer trays that you can get online, but they don't post to Australia and the reviews on here are not very complimentary. Let's try and make our own freezer tray anyway. Most ice cream bowls have urea in them because urea freezes at minus 11 degrees centigrade. You can buy a pure urea solution mixed with pure deionized water at car shops, but I don't want you to get that in your food. So I've got a metal box and a super thick, strong plastic bag. And I'm just gonna pour some of that in there and then once you've got enough, twist it and fold it over itself and then put two zip ties on it. Close that and put it in the extra cold freezer overnight. Now that it is frozen, I've turned the box upside down so that we have the metal side that has the frozen block right up against it. It feels really cold, like hurt your fingers cold. So let's see if it works. Nope, this is just not cold enough. It is pretty hot at my house today and you can see it is starting to freeze it, but again, it's just not cold enough to make it into the rolled ice cream. Justine and Jenna bought one of the ice cream trays and they did seem to get that to work, but only for one serve of rolled ice cream. And after that, it just wasn't cold enough anymore. Now I have three kids, so I need this to work for at least three serves, preferably five, so Dave and I can have some too. So I need something colder than that. It's time for dry ice. Put something down to protect the counter from the cold. Add a tray to put the dry ice in and then a thin towel over that tray so we don't get that horrible noise dry ice makes when it's on metal. Then pour in enough dry ice pellets to give you a good even layer in your tray. Add another metal tray over the top, pour in your ice cream base and choose your flavor and chop it up. Oh my goodness, look at this, it's freezing too fast. We've got the opposite problem, but that's fine because we know that ice cream also melts fast. So all you need to do is just take the tray off the dry ice and finish your chopping. Chop, 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 chop. Keep going until you have a paste-like consistency. Now put it back onto the dry ice and spread it out into a thin layer. Now it's set too hard, I can't roll that. So again, I'm just gonna take it off the cold and wait about 10 seconds and then roll it. Yay, it works, oh my goodness. Look at that, we have rolled ice cream for one. Let's see if we can use it again to make more for everyone else in the family. This time it's strawberries and cream cheese for a strawberry cheesecake flavor. Chop it up and then spread that out, that is freezing up nicely, and then just roll it up. If you use two scrapers, then you can use one to get underneath, it kind of lifts it off the tray, and the other one that's sort of more upright encourages it to roll. Yum, look at that. Now two of my kids get to have their choice of flavor of instant rolled ice cream, let's try another one. For this one we've got M&Ms, 
To stop it freezing so fast, I'm gonna put the towel over the dry ice too, under the tray, and that will give me more time to chop these M&Ms. Now that they're chopped, I'm taking off the towel and adding the tray back. I think it was actually just easier to take the tray off than it is to put the towel on and off. Spread that mixture out. A couple of tips for you, don't make your ice cream too thick because it is harder to roll. It still works, it's just not as pretty when it's this thick. Now my turn, I want some Oreo and Nutella. I'm just gonna chop those up while it's off the dry ice. And then once that's fine, put it on to freeze and just spread it out. For the ice cream base for all of these, I'm using my vanilla ice cream recipe and I'll put all of the details about that on the blog post on howtocookthat.net. There's a link to that below and I'll also link to that video at the end of this one. And then once you're happy with it, roll it up. That's still a bit too soft, it's not gonna roll properly like that. So just pop it back on the dry ice for a few more seconds and try again. And look at that perfect ice cream rolls at home. They melt pretty quickly, so you do need to eat them straight away. Yum, these are very, very good. Dave would like peaches and cream, so just chop up the peaches. This is so much fun, just making everyone's ice cream flavor to order. Spread it out and let it freeze and then roll it up. I found it easiest to have the tray up against the wall while you're rolling so that it doesn't slide. Look at that. How about we do one more for you guys? I'm gonna make it caramello koala flavored. Just chop it up really well so we don't have any big chunks and then spread it out and roll it up. I wish I could just pass this to you through the screen so you could eat it. Just imagine that you're here in my kitchen. Do you want some extra caramel over the top? There you go. Subscribe to How To Cook That and hit the bell to turn on notifications. Click here for the base ice cream recipe, here for the latest video, and here for tiny cookies. Make it a great week and I'll see you on Friday.